Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 24 of Project Architect. And as you can see, I'm in the end. And underneath me is an end ship that I recently looted. It took me about an hour to find, really, to find an end ship. Those were mimics. You need to kill them as soon as possible. Otherwise, they start to mimic you with your level weapons. And that's not a good thing. So, um, yeah. So it took me about an hour to find an end city. I went to... First of all, I was just flying. And it wasn't... You know, it was just really annoying. Because I couldn't find anything. Then I started to use the locate mod. Because I thought... I don't have all night, you know, to fly around and find end cities. I found about four of them and they had um, cities, but no ships. They had the towers, no ships. And then finally on the fifth one, just I was about to give up. Um, I got this end city and it had the elytra. So I didn't really take anything out of here because maybe the mana regeneration stasis I don't even know what stasis does to be honest yeah so but there's nothing really that I wanted but I've got the elytra and then after all of that the elytra is not even emcable which is really annoying but um I got that I got the dragon head that was on the end of the ship and um I didn't bother to take anything else. I don't think I have. I mean, I just came, I got the elytra and I left. I don't think there was anything else I really wanted. So there's that. I was going to record the whole thing and then it's like, this is just taking entirely too long and I cannot be bothered. <laughs> So there's that. And then also, um, what else? Well, that was everything I did in the end. If we get a bit closer to these guys, you might see one of them develop my, um, I oh, know it's not doing that. I don't know, but yeah, they, they, they copy your stuff. That's why they're called mimics. The hell? Oh these things choker boxes so um oh there's another chest I don't know if I actually want anything in these chests anymore because you know after a while you just get everything oh, warp scrolls iron leggings um the enchantments would be good to pull off oh that was the other thing I had to show you guys. That is the other thing. All right, let me get this chest. Uh, we got two buddy packs. Uh, Step height and traveler. Fortune and unbreaking. Okay, let's go home. I made the advanced dislocator as well. Yeah, uh, rose fields. Oh, go away. Uh, great view from up here. What's that for? Levita oh, levitate up 50 blocks from the attacks of a shulker. Oh, there you go. Um, you may have seen from here, I increase my chunk loaded blocks. Um, I increase them to 100, but I'm not going to be using 100. It's just that I've hit the, the limit of 25 and it's just kind of like, yeah, I need a couple more. So I increased that. Uh, what else did I do? Um, I had a really productive um, Discord call with Laura Explorer and Ash and Delph and they all helped me set up my redstone transmitter on my um on my mob farm. I know it's very easy. Now I know how to do it. 
it is dead easy. I don't know why I didn't know this before, but I didn't. Um, but basically now everything's wired up. Um, the light comes on, so it should disable the farm. Oh, is this full? No, it's not full. I didn't know I had a sack of holding in there. Uh, why are you not pulling out stuff? I should be pulling out stuff. I don't know why it is. Isn't. Okay. Um. That's a bit bizarre. I don't know why it's not pulling out this stuff. I'll have to check it. But, um, but yeah, now everything's connected. The only thing I didn't put onto a wireless network is the water dispenser. But I don't really need that now that we've got the, the light in the ceiling. You can just about see it. It's above the spawner. So there's that. So now I just have one switch to turn everything, turn the fans and the mob masher on and off. So that was fun. Um, anything else? I don't think, I don't think there was anything else. So let's, let's go, what? Okay. Oh, I have a new magnet. It is the magnet from, uh, where are you? from Draconic Evolution, and it is extremely powerful. I found that every time I come in, I come to the house, I'll end up with random stuff in my inventory. You know, I'll end up with like player heads and all kinds of things. And it's like, where have those things come from? And it turns out it's from the mob farm. And I'm nowhere near the mob farm, I'm in the house. And it will just pull all of that stuff. It's really bizarre. So, um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, take get rid of these. I am challenging myself today to clear my inventory and keep it clear. Look, see, I've just pulled in more stuff as I'm here talking to you. I don't know what the distance is, but it's like any time I go anywhere in, near here, I just pull stuff. So, right, let's go to the power rods room. Because I want to do power today. I want to set up um, a bigger um, reactor, uh, not a bigger, the faster reactor. I want the, the, I want the highest tier, which is nitro, I think it is, right? So um, some of you may have remembered I did um, Cuboid Outpost and he did a setup. It wasn't quite like this, but he did a setup for... Um, power for for making your your stuff stuff the crystals that you need for power and he did it using xnet so i thought it's not going to be as compact as he did it but let me try and see if i can do it so i've kind of gotten a frankenstein's type system where i will pull stuff in from my i don't know Hmm, it's just occurred to me. It pu it pull it's pulling stuff in from my um refined storage system into the chest. Right now on um the exporter, I have it to work on redstone mode. And then I will turn it on and off when I need to, because what will happen, it would just pull stuff in. Um it goes in, you know, everything is sorted here. But uh I've only got as far as the Niotic Crystal, these two, I haven't done because there's no more, there's no more channels. So I'm thinking probably what I have to do is put on another controller to get the extra two channels. That's what I'm going to try now, right? But it's just occurred to me, oh yeah, and everything goes into that chest and back into the system, which is fine. But it's just occurred to me, if I put a 
say um a crafter is it a crafter um upgrade in the exporter would i be able to put in a pattern and make these on demand i don't know so that's something else i want to try as well but i've been slowly upgrading my cables and the rods but I think I'm going to change these cables because I have to keep changing them out so they're faster and that's annoying so I think what I might do is put in the um the energy cables from the pipes mod um let me see energy um that's basic yeah, I'm going to try and keep my inventory clear because I had lots of people. You will remain nameless, but I had lots of people saying, Shay, your inventory, it's giving me nightmares. And I was saying, well, you know, a cluttered inventory is the sign of genius, which I'm still sticking to. But today and just for today only, I am going to see if I can keep my inventory clear of all extraneous stuff for the episode. Right. So we want that. Um, I wanted the energy pipes. Let's do about 12 of those. Right. That's going to look like that until I attach it so that's it all right these pipes don't mix I thought you could mix and match the pipes but that doesn't happen all right so let's put you along here right I as you probably know I have no idea what I'm doing are these all hardened no these are basic but you know, I mean, a couple of months ago, I had no idea what to do with XNet. And while it's easy with its premise, it's easy to set up. But then I find um, like sorting out the processes, like what goes where and that kind of thing. That can be prob problematic for me sometimes, but that's just me. Are you not going to... Uh, do you not fit? Are you kidding me? Ah, okay, fine. So that's not going to work then. That is energy, right? Yeah, energy. All right, well, that's not going to work. Um, Cable. What did I do with the rest of the cable? Did I drop it in my inventory? Right, uh, we have basic, we have starter, we have hardened, and more hardened. So where did you pop up from then? And, oh, you know what, I probably had it further up in my inventory, and there's something that would drop it down. Uh, that's basic. Let's see if we can make another two. All right, hardened. H-A-R-D-E-N. I have lots, well, quite a few hardened capacitors. I wish these were EMCable, and we want two more. Okay, so these should be filling up with, no, really? Have we run out of power? Um, power, room, cables. All right, why are you doing that? Let's go have a look. Um, I'm, there's power. Can I touch this? Is it gonna like blow me up? I know, same thing. I'm guessing that there's power in there. See, I've just picked up more stuff. Uh, where are we going? Power rods from. I don't know why. Oh, there you go. I was focusing on the wrong thing if you focus on the cable itself it says there's nothing in it but these have stuff in it okay right so at the moment um 
I take those out or work, only work without a redstone or ignore redstone. That should be, yeah. I have to relink these. Oh, there are, no. It's a pity they don't automatically, right? Link to whatever's on. Or they might do, I don't know. Do we have everything going? No, this one on the end needs to go. And this one needs to go. Do we have everything now? No, this is this one. All right, so they're all pointing to the middle. Well, maybe I should just do it this way and not be ambitious. Because I, originally I had hoped that I sh would be able to like auto craft them. And just like be in the, like down on my base and say, well, yeah, I want X amount of things. But let's, let's see, hold on. If I get a crafter and I can just use a vanilla crafter, well, vanilla, well, vanilla as in the original crafter, or can I just use the stack upgrade? Not stack upgrade, the crafting upgrade. That was the other question I had. Craft, because I've never used that. I don't understand what it's for. I don't understand what it's for, so there's only one way to find out. Crafting on demand. Okay. So you're going in. I should make the wireless pattern terminal because then I don't have to go, go back to, no, nope. uh, wireless. All right, let's see, pattern. Is there a wireless pattern? Oh, I thought there was. I swear there was. All right, we have a wireless grid, uh, wireless fluid, crafting, crafting, universal. What? No, that's not what we want. What's the universe? What's universal grid? Okay. Ah, uh, univer. Uni wireless universal grid. Okay. Uh, not magenta. We just what they want. What are we missing? Uh, fluid grid. Uh, fluid grid. Um. Let's see. Oh no, it wants the fluid grid. That's why. I just want any. Oh, good God. Right. Let's do this again. Fluid grid. Plane. That. You can go in there. Wireless fluid grid is that. Now, universal grid. Okay, so that wanted the wireless crafting, wireless grid, and the wireless fluid grid. Wet network not found. All right. Can I right click you? Okay, no, I can't. And then, um, which one has the wireless is out of energy. That's fine. That's one thing I found since I've switched over to putting every, everything in my, um, into the big disco energy ball. Um, wireless charging isn't a thing. Do I need to change this? Do I need to, the basic to output? Yeah, if I put that, if I change that one to output, I should be able to wireless charge everything again. All right, where would, um, where's the wireless? Hold on. Oh, there it is. All right, so display, sort, crafting grid, fluid grid, and grid. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, why is this really slow now? All right, it's not really what I want. Do I have a lot of things at the mob farm? That's probably it. Okay, I had a huge lag spike. I have no idea what happened. I thought maybe... I thought maybe it's the... um. This stuff is not supposed to spawn because the light's on. Okay, well, let's get rid of you. Yeah, 
um that stuff's not it's not supposed to work on the what do you call it on light is supposed to kill the cursed earth not kill it but at least turn it off but um yeah for the wireless setup you have your transmitter you have um uh, a receiver and for each receiver that you need to turn something on and off you either have it pointing into the um the item yeah well not either it's usually pointing into the item so here it's on a block and pointing into the fan out here it's um on the block and pointing into the um the mob killer Right, you make sure that they're all on the same channel. So this is channel two. When you right click it on the receiver, it will it will pick up the channel. And um, yeah, so they're all connected. The light is also connected to channel two. And um, so yeah, so I can leave the water on. So at least then, you know, uh, mobs won't spawn down here, but I could turn off the light and let the skelly spawner um do things uh work because right now it's not going to work because the light but um but yeah i'm not a hundred percent sure why this isn't draining i said that and i thought it had given me a lag spike which is why i came over and had a look but it didn't so i don't know i don't know why my game lagged out just now um right so the wireless universal grid did not do what we it didn't give us a pattern so let's go over and let's have a look. Okay, I got two phone calls back to back and now I can't remember what I was doing. Um, clean my inventory as usual. Uh, let's put you in there. Oh, you know what? Every time I see this, I just remember the other thing I wanted to show you guys. Take you out, take you out and spider eye oh i've got everything right um i don't know where my staff is at the moment the enchanting area i've been meaning to do this for about four episodes oh is it night time okay i've been meaning to do this for about four episodes and i keep forgetting i have actually i don't need this right now i had this tank entangled block um linked to the tank full of liquid xp out by the mob farm and this is a disenchanter from cyclic or cyclic depending on which way you pronounce it and it takes um enchantments off of stuff and put them on books so for example this one has two so it will take those two off leave me with the boots and um it will you know it's very useful for doing stuff like that i should really have a chest in here to keep um to keep my enchantments oh, da, 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 da. energy pipes don't need put a double chest in here nope no, because we have the light in the corner. Really? Basic, don't want that. See, when when you get interrupted with stuff, then you just lose your place and that's that <laughs> okay so and then you get your stuff back as well so you know it's it's very useful it also means that i don't have to go into um what's that mod industrial foregoing to make the enchanting stuff so there's that Oh, ooh, bulwark, magnet, and flanks. I wonder what that does. 
Okay, so magnet. Makes you magnetic for stack items and, and experience on the ground. Bulwark. Prevents the wielder from being knocked back and can disable attacker's weapon. And flanks and move faster while using a shield. Oh, that's really nice. So yeah, so now you can rip the enchants off stuff and you don't need industrial foregoing and all that different coloured nasty slime that they keep wanting you to make. <laughs> so there's that. Right, let's finish with that now. Um, anything else that was enchanted? Nope. Right, let's go back to... I oh, know, I need to go back in the base and make patterns. That's what it was. Mob farm base. Oh my... Really? It's not my day today, is it? Um, pattern. Pattern grid. All right, we want. Let's see. We want a energized steel. Energies, energized steel. Are we not display? Why did this, or had I never put it in? Maybe I didn't put it in. I don't know. Um, Energize steel. Okay, so it's processing. Make sure you have that clicked. And we have a pattern. All right. Now let's go back in the room. Let's clear the inventory. Um, um, do we need, we might need not the connectors, the advanced connectors. I prefer those. And we don't want that. We don't want the arrows. And we don't want the body cards. Right. Alright, I've only got essential-ish stuff. I've only got stuff that I need. Alright, so do I put the... Cra no, the crafter. Hmm. That's the thing. Where do I put the crafter? Can I just... I only put it on a machine if I want it to use that machine. So why are you, oh no, because of these. So can I put it on top of the XNet controller or can I just put the crafter in our system? All right, let's, let's experiment. Come back, crafter and that, okay. And display, no craftables, only craftables. Let's make sure that this is ignore redstone signal. Do I have to whitelist? Let, let's, let's see. Right, so craft. Two, start. And of course we need the crafting monitor to see if it actually... Hmm. All right, let's go back and make a crafting monitor. What are you, what are you doing? That's still that. Okay. Um, because I don't think, I don't think it put any in there, and I don't think it's gonna work unless it's pointing into a machine that it can craft it into. All right. Um, because the other way to use this is with modular routers. I know that would definitely work. Uh, will this? No, that doesn't work. All right. Um, control G, wrench. Right, that's in. That's on. That's in. Take you out. I don't. Like I said, I don't know what the craft. Yeah, that doesn't even go in there. So we can put you back in. I guess it's not harming anything and show craftables yeah i didn't think that was gonna work right let's make a crafted monitor because i didn't make that either uh machine doesn't accept item okay cool oh maybe i need it to point into the chest i still can you change modes with this no it just rotates things okay uh Red morning star. 
Now, where are we? There's our crafter. There's our pattern. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. Can I shift click you off? No, I can't. All right. And put our crafter into that. All right, let's try this again. Uh, pattern. Right, let's request. What do you call that thing? Energize steel. Energize. Right. Um, nope. To craft to start. It should go into this one. Processing, processing, scheduled. Oh, it could be. All right, let's um. Let's disable you for a minute. Extract. Which one are we extracting from? That's blazing crystal. Although it should be able to do multiple. That's niotic. Let's take you out for a second. All right, so that should stop. Nope, it doesn't doesn't like it. It put two in. But then according to the because it was working earlier. Uh energize steel. So you extract from the input chest, insert into blazing steel. Extract, extract, insert, insert. And then you extract from this and insert into there. It was working. But I don't know why that's normal Minecraft, so you don't need to click the metadata. That's normal Minecraft. Um, it's not even pulling it in. I'm not sure why that's not happening. Okay, I guess we're going to have to do the modular routers route. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Let's cancel this. And let's let's do modular routers instead. Oh, brilliant. Um, I guess we get an extra long episode today. All right, let's. All right, so we need the modular router. Blank module. There you go. We need the router. You need, um, we can make the book because that would definitely help. Now, uh, security override breaker. You need a placer. Let's have a look. You need a placer. Oh, we never made, we must have made a dispenser. Um, placer. Yeah, uh, play, player module, puller. Um, do we need a puller module? Yes, we need pullers and senders, I think. All right, so what's the difference between the different... I don't know what the difference is. Why did that not work? Puller Mark 2. Okay, that was interesting. Oh, okay. Um, only makes one at a time. All right, that's interesting. And then the sender, and I'm guessing the sender mark two is the same thing. No, it's not. Well, that's interesting that the sender will give you a stack, but the puller doesn't. And sender mark three missing, but sender mark two. Yeah, that's very interesting. I don't know. Right. Um. Camouflage, no. Muffler, no. Security. Speed, more than likely. We don't have one of these things. Uh, sync, fast pickup. Filter around Robin, mimic, pickup delay. Range up and down. Do we need a filter? I don't think so. Right, so we have all of that. Let's go back to the room. 
I didn't really need to leave in the first place. I was going to set it up here and I thought, actually, no, let's just go back and set it up in the room instead. Uh, power rods room. All right, so let's tear you down then. All right, I'm going to leave this here because I'll probably need it as a link to the outside world. Oh, I had vertical slabs there because I was going to do a thing, but then the thing didn't work because you kind of need a corner slab to make it work. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, What are we doing? The router. So what? Do, oh, no, we didn't take it out, did we? Modular. All right, so we have a modular router. Um, eco mode buffer modules. All right, so we want we want a a puller and a sender. We need more than one mod uh, router. I think we'd end up needing three because you need one to pull from the system and one for each thing that you're sending. So um, that's not going to collect. Collect connect. All right, want the importer, got the exporter. Okay, so that has power. This now, we want it to pull. Oh, it's in my backpack. Or did I not take it? No, I didn't. Oh, dear Lord, this is annoying. Um, Sender and puller. If I take three pullers, three senders, take the manual because that might be helpful. But let's let me see if I can do it first. All right. So, oh, um, there was one that checks checks the numbers. Uh, dropper, no security. What was it? It was. It looked like a calculator. This one. Regulator augment. All right. Uh, regulator augment. We need another. Aug oh, we need that. Augment core. Right. Regulator augment. So I need to say that goes where? In the buffer? No. Did you just eat it? What do you just do with it? Uh, let's get another one. All right, where do I put? Nope, nope. Shift click it on. Um, there is a GUI, but I don't know how you access the GUI. All right, time to read the manual. Uh, introduction, smart filters, augments. Installed in modules. Okay, regulator. Um, precise control when a module has a regulator for the sender. The modules, um, oh, okay. So do I have, press, hold I, and um, clear like, press C or middle click to configure. There you go. Right, so that's the sender. Uh, there's the regulator module. And that holds one and we want to send iron. Can I send both? Well, there's only one way to try out. Oh, not blacklist. Uh, whitelist. Okay, there is a linking tool. Control G. Is there a linking tool? No, it does not like it. So that's coming in. Oh, no. Um, I need the other... The other modular router. Oh, no. Why did I take... Why did I take that out? I didn't need to take it out. The other router... No, not shift click. There's a way to. Hmm. Or do I s 
send it. Nope. All right. Hold I for more info. Clear line of sight. Sends. Hold on. What did that say? Um. Sends items to any inventory along the X Y Z axis. Well, like there, right? But how do I determine what the inventory is? Control C. Um. Oh, send from. Okay, it's not going to work there. All right, so let's just send it straight up. Uh, up and here, I tell it to put those in. No. Okay, let's stop you right there. All right, let's take out the gold and send her there. Nope. Whitelist is iron. And then we do a second one. Oh, I keep putting it in the buffer and it keeps disappearing. I don't know how to get it out of the buffer. Right, that needs a regulator. That goes for one. And we want to whitelist iron. So that's iron. That's iron. No, that should be gold. We want to whitelist gold in the direction up. Match any, always continue. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Okay. Right, so then now, if I take this out and can I put the puller on this as well? But it's supposed to one item both of them are supposed to be one item so it's not supposed to be all right let's take you out because all you keep doing is sending stuff gold iron gold and iron see it put another piece of iron in there it's not supposed to and i don't know where the extra stuff's disappearing to all right let's take you out i don't understand how it's not working but um, let's just try this anyway. So we want a puller, sender, sender, puller. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, whitelist. If we just tell we wanted to pull from up, I don't think we have to tell it what we want it to pull. Uh, puller, no, I don't want that. Nope, yes. And this is the sender. Iron, sender, gold. See, it's sending. See, it's not doing anything. I don't know why it's not doing anything. All right. This is where I go and look at a video and see what the problem is. I'll be back. Okay. I kind of had it right. Kind of. In a, in a weird way. All right. So let's leave that. Oh, am I flying? Oh, yes, because I'm a bat, aren't I? I made myself a bat. Can't remember if I did that um, while I was on camera or off camera. Okay, so um, I can do everything from the one router, right? At least with single, sing, single items. With... Um, more than one item i'm going to need more things but right now what i want to do is make um the high no the highest tier is night niotic not niotic hold on uh power the highest tier is nitro nitro is four different things that's not gonna work not right now the next tier below that spirited spirited is just an emerald so what i'm going to do because i'm there thinking i need to make all the tiers right now i don't need to make all the tiers 
I just need to make the spirited so that I can upgrade everything, get it fast, and then I can make, let me see, to make my nitro, um, yeah, actually I don't need to make the other tiers. I just need to, see, I've been going about it all wrong. I've been thinking I need the other tiers in order to make everything. And I don't. I need the other tiers, I think, to upgrade the rods. Yes, I need the other tiers to make the rod, to upgrade the rods, which is fine. All right. But um, I've already got, I've got enough energized steel so that, and I've got the hardened. The blazing rods are, um, uh, it's blaze powder or blaze rods, depending on which one you use. The niotic is diamonds and the spirited are emeralds. And then once I get the emeralds, I can make the, um, I can make those rods and they should be fast enough for me to make my, um, the the nitro crystals and I could do those manually see I should have thought that through first I should have thought that I I didn't think of that I was because I had watched um so actually I might not need that I had watched um what's his name chosen and he had you know this really cool looking system and you had all the lasers and everything else and yeah, that was fine, but he was producing everything and I don't necessarily need to produce everything. So if I put that there, that's our energizing orb. All of these should be linked to that orb when it goes on, right? And I want, so I need, uh, where are we? I need a puller. I need a regulator and I need a, do I have any more senders? I think they're all in. All right, let's do this round the other way. This already has stuff in it. Yes. So we can change those, right? So those are senders. Take out the senders. Is my backpack on? No. Put you on just for now. Right, so, sender, um, press C, I want it to send a emerald, and oh, no, I need a chest as well, where's my chests, okay, right, um, does it matter where the modules are, I don't think it matters, so I want you to pull from the left or can you only do okay no 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 that, that's right that's right that's right no where's our puller so the puller did i just shift click it into the inv oh my no i didn't i don't think right see i want you to pull from the left and i want you to pull one thing at a time and it doesn't matter what you pull i just want you to pull what i put in in the in the chest right so we will have a cable pulling in emeralds yeah then the sender i need you to send from the front and one thing at a time and i can tell you to send a particular thing or i can just leave it and just let it send whatever's in the chest. Yeah. And is that blacklist or whitelist? I don't know. It's blacklist, whitelist. Right. And so the sender has one. Okay, right. So control G. If I get a stack of emeralds, and I put you in the chest, right, puller, that should work. Why are you not working? 
Is it because it's not a Minecraft chest? That might be it. Not a vanilla chest. Uh, chest. Let's just do that. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are we? Oh, it's in my backpack. Nope. You don't like that either. Why? I'm pretty sure I did exactly what this guy did in this video. It is... It was simple. It was literally... Well, obviously, what I've done wrong... I've set these up wrong somehow. Let me have another look. I've just had a thought. Is it because my blacklist... My, my whitelist? Is it because the whitelist is... I've whitelisted it. If I put blacklist, is it going to put... There you go. There you go. Right. And with that, the sender, change that to blacklist. So you're going. There you go. Because I was looking at it and I suddenly thought, wait a minute, you have whitelist and nothing, so it's not going to pull anything. All right. Maybe I shouldn't have picked the emerald, but, you know... There's that. All right, why haven't you pulled sender? But you should, do I need to put in another puller then? And tell it to pull from the front? Ascending to the front. Maybe I need to put in another puller and tell it to pull from the front. All right, um, control G, uh, P-U-L-L-E-R. All right, so we've got a puller, blacklist, and pull on the front. No, that's not doing it. So then, hmm. But then is it going to know where to put it? And if I put a, uh, if I put another chest on the other side, put an ascender. Uh, did I? Sender. Um, send to the right. No, are you just pushing things through? Send to the right, whitelist, and that. Okay. All right, you're going. You're in there. You've stopped. I think it's just confused it. I think that's just confused it. But let's see what happens with this. Still hasn't. Yeah, pull from the front. All right, if I take... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to put another modular router, and that will do my pulling. So this will do the sending. The next one will do the pulling. Let's try that. All right, this will do pulling... So we want to pull this from the front and we want a sender. Do I have another sender? Nope. Right, we need the other, the other chest. So it wasn't the chest, it was just the, um, just because it wasn't whitelisted or blacklisted, I should say. And then we need another. There, I didn't get it. You want a sender, and then the sender would whitelist this and send it to the right. And the augment. No, there's, there's, pull from the front and send to the right. Except you don't want to. Why don't you want to? I don't understand it. It's the same thing. All right, let's take you out. Take you out. Right, so pull from the left and send to the front. And here... Until you pull from the front and send to the right. Do I have to tell it one at a time? 
no that goes do i have to tell you one at a time i don't know still doesn't like it okay it's semi-automated so why don't you want to because it said clear line of sight or does it have to be directly in front of it it might have to be directly in front of it okay ah uh <sighs> oh dear what am i gonna do huh and i don't even know which one is which uh no we want the other one okay why don't you want to work now oh because you have nothing in the buffer it might still be a vanilla chest thing as well but i suspect it has to be does it have to be directly in front of it though i don't know let's try with the vanilla chest i mean it doesn't hurt to to do it why am i typing in vanilla chest um that one is oak this one is oak but this one is minecraft all right and we want uh, modular routers do i not have enough space no i don't all right let's offload offload you two and that crafting monitor the controller those things that crafting upgrades a puller so you've got a puller and a sender right put you guys down because i don't know which one is which spirited crystal right okay so we have the sender to the right but we want it to the left oh well we could pull it as well and see what happens but no it's not yeah it's not the vanilla chest thing I don't know what it is, but I mean, it's, we can get around this because I just want something that's automated and I'm getting tired. Uh, control G. Yeah. I'm getting tired of this. Where'd my chest go? There it is. And I need to turn into the bat i need my wrench no it doesn't like it do i need to get smaller yes <laughs> that's basically it we need to get a little bit smaller All right, so that's going. Let's take you away. Let's put these back in the thing. I know, I know there's a way to do it. I know that, um, what's his name? Chosen. He had a whole system and lots of sparkly lasers and whatever. I mean, that's fine. But this way is working for me right now. And that's what I want. Because if I put in a whole stack, it will make the whole stack. Actually, let me pipe this back into the system. I can pipe this back into the system. So I need. Oh, I had. I had all my stuff here. Um, OK, let's have a look. Control G. Right, there's five in the system right now. I mean it should work. It's 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 very it's very janky, but it would work. And you know, it's better than nothing. I don't understand why the modular router didn't work as in like pulling it from the machine, 
because the video that I watched, he had it pulling and pull. He had he had just the one router. It pulled. It pushed pulled from it pulled from the side, pushed out to the front, and then it pulled from the front and pushed back. There's six. Okay, so that's going in that way. So it's semi automated that way. Maybe send send is from send from the front and go forward pull so i would have had to tell it pull from the front and send to the side didn't i isn't that what i had i don't know i don't know but i've spent long enough on this i spent way too long and it's semi-automated it is semi-automated and that is basically what I wanted. I will have to see if I can work it out in between episodes. But I mean, we failed, kind of. I didn't get the first thing to work. And I kind of got this to work. And like I said, it's janky, but it's there. And then I'll have to see what I can do. But we're getting next next episode, I will set up my power reactors. And also, I want to think about... Um, if I want to set up a really big turbine for power, like the bigger reactors, because they've got turbines and stuff. I don't know what the turbines do. So I might have to take my bigger reactor out of the compact machine, make it as big as I can, and um, set up turbines and stuff. So yeah, next episode, I think we're going to look at even more power. And I think that's why how you say that with, with an evil laugh, which I don't do because I'm not an evil person. I'm so nice. I don't do evil laughs and stuff. But yeah, um, <laughs> and I'm yeah, I'm just here rambling. But yeah, I think next episode we're going to look at getting even more power. So setting up the um, the. I want to call it chaotic and it's not chaotic. I know that for sure. Uh, blaze, not blazing, nitro, that's it. So I want to set up some nitro, um, basically duplicate what we have. I was going to say upstairs, but wherever it is in the thing, we want to duplicate that. So we have some blazing, um, nitro reactors and a big old turbine react a big old re a big a big old bigger reactor plus turbines because i don't know what turbines do and i need to know so yeah that <laughs> that is the plan for the next episode i've convinced myself now that is the plan we're going for more power so <laughs> thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel oh look i look very sparkly very um very glitz and glamoury yeah so um, really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.